live shows. This is insanity. Y'all, my husband is in the audience, uh, so let's talk some trash about him. You ready? Yeah. I love telling people that I married my best friend. I say it all the time. I married my best friend. Uh, I don't mean it, but I say it. Uh, I do love the guy. I would call him my soulmate, you know, or the first one who I ever asked. Um, one of those. Uh, he's great. I remember when we were dating and I was fantasizing about like what that proposal would be like one day and what that dream ring would look like when I got it. And y'all, I am still fantasizing. <laughs> exactly. There's a diamond there. That's what he said it was, so we'll go with that. I know guys get bothered when I say that. I said it on stage the other night and a man yells out in the back, hey, he worked hard. I was like, he could have worked harder. Also, he's just not good at jewelry, and that's probably my fault, right? Because I'm a proud feminist. And he said, well, I thought that meant you didn't like diamonds. And I was like, not that kind of feminist. <laughs> and it's not a money issue either, because he's good at spending money on things that he's into. And uh, I just wrongly thought that was me. <laughs> okay, so, so far he has spent a fortune on a fleet of mountain bikes. Yeah, and you might be asking how many is in a fleet. Let's just say every time I walk out in the garage, I just see six better engagement rings <laughs> with handlebars. So needless to say, we do not have any children because we have bicycles instead. Uh, I'm ready to be a mom, though. I think I'd be great at it, mainly because I've raised a lot of men. So, yeah. Thanks. All my, all my girlfriends are moms, though. They're all moms now, which is weird to me because I know these women, all right? I used to party with these women in our 20s, and I remember when they didn't care about things like tomorrow, okay? <laughs> we would just go out and party. We had no rules. We drank everything we con came in contact with. Uh, we didn't even do the pre-drinking rhyme. Y'all know it. The, is the beer before liquor gets you thicker? Simon, do you know the rest of that? Uh, <laughs> we just drank... We just drank whatever Chad's buying at the bar, right? Uh, now that we're in our 30s when we go out for a girls' night, it is very different, okay? Now Beth has an app on her phone that tells her which wine on the menu is gluten-free. And then Meg, she's got to see how long it's been since she pumped because she doesn't want to get the baby drunk again. Because she hates fun, I guess, right? And then we've got Morgan. She tries to order for the entire table, right? Because she's been to a winery recently, so she knows wine. And uh, she's like, oh, she's like, excuse me. She's like, excuse me. She's like, excuse me, hi, waiter. We've got five ladies, and we are going to be splitting a bottle of Tempranillo. And uh, I'm in the back like, that's not what I'm doing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to finish drinking this purse vodka. And then I'm going to need my own bottle of wine to make it through the night with you liars. So I'm just looking, to my, to looking forward to being in our 40s when all my girlfriends will be divorced again and back to being drunken floozies. That's what I'm looking forward to. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.